love that bell, hey? I do. I can't stay away from it, Ben. I need to take it off. <laughs> okay, for those of you guys who don't know who this, um, who this amazing drummer is, his name is Kobus. And he's out here from South Africa uh, filming some lessons for us and actually launching a product called the Kobus Method. And so um, I had the privilege to do a drum duet with him the other day that he uploaded on his channel. I said, I, I think I'm a famous drummer now because I, <laughs> I uploaded on the Kobus's channel. No, I did. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, but um, when we are doing the drum duet, uh, halfway through, we kind of did a little bit of trading, not a lot because I knew I'd get slayed. And uh, you pull this out. <laughs> yeah. And so then I was practicing it the other day, and then you came and actually showed me what was really going on. Yeah. So I was hoping you'd show it to them today, exactly what you're doing. And uh, yeah, because it's the concept I, I know is easy. It's simple, incredibly simple. But yeah. the way you've applied it is not. Well, I think the way that I've the concept is simple, the way that I've applied it is not as simple, but not really complicated. But what makes this a little <laughs> tricky is the mechanics kind of executing it on the kit, the muscles that you use and stuff, because um, what it consists of is two strokes on the bass drum, followed by two strokes wherever on top. But I mean, the simplest version would be two strokes on the bass, uh, two strokes on the snare. And if you have a double bass pedal, you can play them with a double bass pedal. If you have two hands, you can play them with two hands, the two strokes on top. Mm -hmm. uh, but what I do is I play uh, a double stroke roll with my bass drum, so it's two strokes with one foot, and then two strokes on the snare with one hand. And this is kind of like a showmanship kind of thing. For sure. As well, right? Yeah, because I mean, like I said, you can use two hands. They, they, it, it, uh, it'll actually make it cleaner and clearer and make it sound maybe even a bit better, but it just looks super rad, yeah. freeing up your left hand for other stuff and just like doing spinning, it with your right hand. Because if, yeah. if, if you had to use both hands on the drums, what, how would you spin the stick? Exactly, and we need to spin the stick. Come on, <laughs> let's be honest. So <laughs> the pattern is super simple, but like I said, the mechanics is kind of tricky. I've been playing uh, the slide technique, which is what I use to do the double stroke in the bass drum. I've been playing the slide technique for many years, so mm -hmm. I've been doing this for a long time, so the muscles know what to do. Uh, but for somebody who are, who is, somebody who who's is just starting out? who's just starting out, that's simpler. Yeah. Somebody who's just starting out, it would be quite difficult to play the two strokes with mm -hmm. one foot right and, away. And for that, we have lessons on our website on the heel toe technique and the slide technique. Exactly. So we don't need to get into that. Yeah. I want to more just get into like the, what you're doing with the sweeping yeah. and how you're all putting it together. Okay. That's really, really cool. So I'm gonna, I'll just play the exact same pattern again yeah. and I'll start up to speed and then I'll play it as slow as I can. I should mention though, and this is my disclaimer, just in case I suck, that it's really easy for me to play this up to speed and at a certain tempo because, um, I mean, I've been doing this for a while, so my, my right foot likes to play it at a certain tempo. So when I get really slow, it might be a little bit sloppy, mm -hmm. but I'll just see how slow I can get it to just slow you guys, show you guys exactly how I'm splitting up the pattern between the hands and the feet. So same tempo and then I'll just slow it right down. Cool, so that is a 30 second note, Phil. I know you like, like to focus on how it sounds, and I'm Mr. Like, like to figure out exactly what yeah. he's doing. So but I it's can good, write down. no, it's good. Now, yeah. now I know that it's 30 second note. Because <laughs> yeah. I you, didn't. But that pattern, like, obviously, you can play that in any note value. Like yeah. 16th notes, you can play the 16th note triplets, and like he did 30 second notes, and even like 30 second note triplets and 64th notes, if you really want to. Yeah. I'm not to... just going to nod like I know what the flip <laughs> that means. <laughs> but that's really, really cool. And it so is how, red. How long did it take you to develop the sweeping? And are there any tips that you can give um, the, the students on moving back and forth? Like even with setup issues and everything. Well, my toms are set up really comfortably for this motion. Like it's, it's, it's kind of level between the floor tom and the snare. So yeah. if I hit the snare the right way and I'm fluid enough, I can just get the bounce on the second one. Titting, titting, titting. And same with the small tom and the snare. It's the same vibe. Like the angle is, is kind of lined up. 
So it's it's really easy for me to do a double stroke between the small tom and the snare, with, yeah. with the first note being on the small tom and the second one being on the snare. I think setup plays a big role. If you have your toms way up high and a big distance between the toms and the snare, the big distance between the snare and the floor tom, it'll be a lot more difficult. My, my setup is really kind of economical and comfortable for me, so. Yeah, because what I notice you're doing, it's not, it's not like you're going do, do. No, no, no. I mean, you're going this. Da, 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 yeah. da, da, da. It's like, it's just a double stroke on the snare. Yeah. But you have to have enough rebound from the high tom to lift the stick up, bring it down the snare and still. To lift the stick up over the rim yeah. and hit the snare, yeah. And same sure. with going this way, you can't just let the stick drop. Yeah. You, know, you can't and keep pushing your hand down. For sure. And what's right about this with the setup is I can I can do that sweep in different ways too. I can go da 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 da. I can go I can go back and forth between the floor tom and the snare because this is really comfortable. The difficult one is going from the snare up to the rack tom. Yeah. I haven't got that quite nailed down, but it's really simple to move in between these two. So it's uh like I said, the mechanics of it is the, the trickiest part. The pattern is really simple. If you've got a double bass pedal, that makes it a whole lot easier. Uh, just kind of practice those rebounds, get uh, the, the rebound as comfortable and as fluid as possible, and then just split it up between the toms. Yeah. Fluidity is key, though. Yeah. Just like you can't play it like like a stick man. Yeah. You have to keep it fluid, mm -hmm. otherwise you're gonna drop your stick. Cool. Which happens sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so like I said, if you guys need help doing the fast foot and you want to do it with one foot rather than a double pedal, or if you only have a single pedal, that's totally cool. Uh, check out the bass drum lesson section. There, there's a lesson on the slide technique and the heel toe. You can choose whatever one you want to do. Yeah. You're using the slide. I was using the slide. I do use the heel toe when I have a double bass pedal for the yeah. double strokes, but with regards to this specific technique, I always use the slide. Yeah. Cool. So thanks again for showing this. For sure. Us. Thanks for showing it to me. Yeah, dude. I know. He showed it to me. I'm like, I got to get him to do a lesson. And there are some YouTube comments and stuff asking, are we going to get him to do some lessons for drumlesson.com? And so, yeah, we really appreciate it. For sure, man. Yeah. So thanks can for coming. Can I please play out? Yes. I, was I really want ask. to. Yeah. yeah. So, hey, guys, thanks for watching. He's going to play out doing some of this crazy stuff. Talk to you soon. Sweet. <laughs>